skies. We've got some clouds out there and we do have a low chance for a couple of showers today. Our temperature already in the upper 80s and with that dew point in the 70s, it's feeling very summer like and muggy. You can see 76 the dew point temperature and so that's making it feel more like 90s like I was showing you earlier. So air temperature is well into the 80s and we're likely going to tack on at least a couple more degrees as we head through the rest of this afternoon. We also though have a few small showers a little bit here over parts of St. Bernard and Plaquemines parishes a little bit more off of our coast and then we also have one shower developing right now right over New Orleans East so you're getting some rain there and also some rain for those of you on I-10 between New Orleans and Slidell or toward Irish Bayou and Slidell itself getting a bit of small shower action going a little bit over into Hancock County Mississippi and we do have a slight chance of rain today near 30 percent so this is by 2 p.m. Fast forward to 4 p.m. and then towards 7, a little flare up of a few spotty showers possible as we still have moisture left over from our system yesterday and over the weekend, plus the daytime heating kind of with that summer pattern helping showers to form in the hot afternoon. This is tomorrow, same thing, just about 20, 30% chance for a couple of showers and then things change heading toward Thursday with a cool front moving in. I'll show you in a second, but today high temperatures close to 90, close to 90 again tomorrow, plenty of humidity. At least tonight, it does look mostly clear. This morning, we did have fog after yesterday's rains. Our North Shore lows tonight, 70 degrees and south of the lake, 75. As for those temperatures, of course, we're hot here in the southeast with our temperatures close to 90 along the Gulf Coast. But there is cooler air out there. 50s and 60s across much of the Midwest and Northern Plains. Our available moisture map is showing an upper uh, feature bringing a cool front through our area all the way south of our coastline by Thursday and Friday. So this should set us up for that purple color showing that drier air in the atmosphere for the weekend. So how nice? Well, this is what we have right now. Highs in the lower 80s and look at those lows north of the lake brushing the upper 50s to around 60 and even south of Lake Pontchartrain in the city, likely upper 60s for the mornings and lower humidity crucially. In fact, our dew point forecast for Friday is dew points in the 60s. That's certainly noticeably less humid, but check it out as we move towards Saturday, we start to see those dew points coming down even more. So that's lower humidity on our dew point scale. When you get to 50s, that is some nice dry air, certainly pleasant feeling for this weekend. So a little something to look forward to there. We also out in the tropics, as I mentioned, have our new tropical storm. This is Jerry, the 10th storm of the season just became a tropical storm this morning and is forecast to take that familiar now familiar path around high pressure to the north and curve early instead of barreling across into the Caribbean and potentially toward the Gulf. Several systems have taken this path and it looks like this one will too. A um, close brush with some of the northern leeward islands looks likely Thursday to Friday, but then here comes the curve and actually the current forecast cone has this one maybe even passing just to the east of Bermuda. So staying out over the ocean, we'll track it uh, later on toward the weekend for Bermuda. They'll kind of keep their eye on it there, but no threats to our part of the United States or the Gulf Coast, of course. The only other thing is this one little feature here, a trough of low pressure over Yucatan. It will slowly move across the Bay of Campeche, and you can see that really doesn't look like it's going to develop. The National Hurricane Center gives it a 10% chance of development, but it looks like either way, and probably not development in the forecast, but either way would move into Mexico likely by early Thursday. So this is just a little short-term thing that we would watch, but our pattern is going to keep that far to the south, so no effects expected along our part of the Gulf Coast. Seven day forecast, check it out. It's hot and kind of humid for a couple more days, but we start to see some changes Thursday. Maybe by the later part of Thursday, we start to feel a bit drier air. Friday is a little less humid and also not as hot. And then the weekend looks so splendid. I'm so excited about it. I mean, it could be chillier. It could be a stronger front. We'll look ahead to later in the month maybe for that. But at least we have a pretty pleasant and enjoyable kind of forecast for Saturday, Sunday, and even into early next week. We will take it. Alex, thanks. Coming up, a new report.